So out of the numbers 1 through 20, you have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. So that's 6 multiples of 3. Out of the total 20 numbers, your answer is C. 27 pints per 63 miles is equal to some number of pints per 7 miles. 27 times 7 divided by 63. You get 3. So we have a random sample of 50 people and 7 said chocolate was their favorite ice cream flavor. 7 out of those 50. If we multiply that until we account for the entire population of the town, how many like chocolate? We can cross multiply and divide by 50. You get 2,082.92 which is closest to 21. Probability of an unfair coin landing head side up is 0.6. So you've tossed it nine times and has landed tail side up five times and head side up four times, which has nothing to do with the tenth toss. It's completely independent, so it's still just 0 0.6. So out of 92.1 square miles, 11.3 is water, so we subtract there. And we're left with 80.8 .8 square miles. We have 621,000 people. We divide that by the number of square miles, and we find the people per square mile, which is 7,685. B. There are n nonfiction books and 12 fiction books on a shelf. So the total number is 12 plus n. What's the probability of selecting a nonfiction book in terms of n? So n out of the total 12 plus n. 20 students in 5 minutes. So 460 students in how many minutes? Cross multiply 460 by 5 and you divide by 20. You get 115 minutes. One fourth were freshmen, one third were sophomores. So let's convert to a common unit and call this 3 twelfths and let's call this 4 twelfths. So out of the 12 twelfths, we subtracted 4, and we subtract 3, and what was left? 5 twelfths. Half of the remaining were, were juniors. So if we bump this up to 10 over 24, then 5 over 24 were juniors. And the other 5 over 24 were seniors. So we can multiply that fraction, 5 over 24, times 336, and we get 70. Plant A, 20 centimeters. Plant B, 12 centimeters. The ratio of these heights is equal to the ratio of these heights. 54 centimeters, x. So you cross multiply 54 times 12 and you divide by 20, which is 32.4. So the ratio of silver to copper is 37 to 3. And we know the 600 grams of mass, so let's call this 37x plus 3x is equal to 600. So 40x is equal to 600, or x is equal to 15. And I want to know how much copper there was, so I'm going to plug that in for the 3, and the answer is 45. We have a random sample of 80 bottles, and there's a range of acceptable at least 19.8, no more than 20.2. So these many, which is 78 out of the 80, because there's only two outside of the range, were able to be sold. We compare that to out of 16,000, how many? So you take 16,000 times 78 and you divide by 80. And this gives you 15,600, which tells you how many can be sold. We subtract this from 16,000, and the difference is 400. 